Okay, so today we're going to be talking about some more about the primary brain tumors. Remember, we already covered astrocytes or astrocytoma. We covered oligodendrogliomas. And today we're going to be talking about ependymomas. Okay, so ependymomas are basically, um, it's a tumor of ependymal cells. And what do ependymal cells do? So if we go back to looking at the brain, you have, if you've ever seen a picture of the brain when it's cut in half, this is called the cerebrum, remember, and this part here is called the cerebellum. So if you remember when we talk about um, the cerebrum, this was the big part. This is the part more responsible for motor function and things such as that. So in here, in about the center, you have a little opening called a ventricle. Okay, so this is called a ventricle. Okay, and then lining the ventricle, you have cells. And these are called ependymal cells. Okay, so these are gonna be ependymal cells. Now, technically, you then have um, an opening where these come through and they go to other ventricles, a third ventricle, a fourth ventricle, and then they go down into the spinal cord. Okay, so this is going to be our spinal cord. Okay, so there's our spinal cord. So these are all the cells that are basically lining these. Um, or these are the ependymal cells in, in the brain and in the spinal cord. So what do the ependymal cells do? Well, what ependymal cells do is they make a substance called cerebrospinal fluid. Okay, cerebrospinal fluid. And the name for this, the short name, is just CSF. Now, you replace your CSF about every eight hours. You replace all of it in your body. You make about 100 to 160 milliliters of cerebrospinal fluid um, every eight hours. Okay, so there's, there's where it is, and then it's down in the spinal cord. If you remember, your spinal cord is made up of your nerves. They come off your brain, they go down through your body, right in the center. Usually when you see the spine, you're thinking of, of the bones that are covering it. But these are nerves that are in the middle. Okay, so now what happens is I can get a tumor of these ependymal cells. And when I do, that's called ependymoma. Okay, it's a tumor of the ependymal cells. So now what's gonna happen, like other tumors, is I am going to start to get growths in here. Okay, or it can occur in the spinal cord. So for the most part, <clears throat> Um, who gets these? I'm going to erase this. So, normally, these will affect adults who are over 35 years old. So, it affects adults greater than 35 years old. And when it affects adults, they're more likely to get it down in the lower back. Remember, I just showed you that it goes down through the spinal cord. In the center of your spinal cord, you have something called a central canal, a little opening that is lined with ependymal cells. So you can get a tumor in the lower back inside the spinal cord. So this is affects 35 year olds, and when it does, it affects, normally, it affects the lower spinal cord. Spinal cord, I wanna make sure I can get that word in there. Okay, so it's gonna affect the lower spinal cord. Now, if it's going to affect children, unfortunately in children, if they're less than five years old, it is um, intracranial, so it's in the skull. So where I just drew the brain and you saw the red parts that were going around the inside of the brain, that's where they're more likely to get this. Okay, so that's, that's pretty bad. So it's intracranial if you get it and you're younger. 
So obviously these people, what's going to happen is it's going to affect the ability to walk and things such as that because you're getting in the lower spinal cord, those nerves come down and they go into the legs. So you're going to start to have symptoms in the legs. Here, um, we can get a severe headache because what happens is the brain grows because it's a tumor, the tumor's grown and it causes the brain to expand out against the skull and it starts to cause pain. We also get, we can get vision loss, and there's several differences that can happen, but you can get vision loss. <clears throat> and the reason that there's vision loss is because of the fact that it may be growing into an area where the nerves for sight are. And so you can get vision loss. The other thing that may happen is, usually when there's a problem with the brain, with the nerves of the brain, you can take something and rub the bottom of the foot and the toes will flare back. That's called a positive Babinski sign. Normally affects one side or the other. In this case, it's gonna be on both sides. So a positive bilateral Babinski sign. is also gonna be with this, okay? So there's my ependymoma, okay? Just like the other ones. It's not a good thing to have. Um, it affects 35 year olds, affects the lower spinal cord if you're an adult. Otherwise, it's going to occur in the brain. And that's it for ependymoma.